There are many things that King Charles III can do. But Prince Harry has made one impossible. His Majesty has forfeited the right to see or complain about seeing his two grandchildren, Archie and Lilibet. For months, reports have been coming out on both sides of the Atlantic, claiming that His Majesty is sad or heartbroken because he does not get to spend a lot of time with his British and American grandchildren. It is believed that King Charles met Lilibet only once when she attended the Jubilee celebration for the late Queen Elizabeth II with her parents. As for Archie, King Charles saw him a handful of times before he moved permanently to California, while His Majesty has reworked his schedule to create memories with Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. He is only in contact with Archie and Lilibet via Zoom calls, and the text messages and short videos that he receives from Meghan Markle. According to one royal expert, King Charles cannot complain about missing precious moments with Archie and Lilibet. Because he greatly contributed to this messy situation, King Charles should have known that. When he took the decision to evict Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from Frogmore Cottage, their only British home, it implied that he was cutting ties with two innocent children who were being dragged into a war. They did not ask for. Royal expert Michael Cole said the story of the Sussex kids, and King Charles has now taken a surprising twist. He shared, when the king asked Prince Harry and his wife to vacate Frogmore Cottage, Harry said, doesn't the king want to see his grandchildren? Well, the fact is, he is not seeing his grandchildren, he has hardly seen Prince Archie, and I am not sure. If he has even seen Princess Lilibet more than once, it is a very sad state of affairs. In the book Endgame, Prince Harry paints his father as the culprit, according to the book. When King Charles announced to Prince Harry during a phone call that he was booted from Frogmore, he yelled, You don't want to see your grandchildren anymore. It is not known how King Charles responded to the painful and uncomfortable question. There is little hope that the adults in this situation will resolve the matter. For the sake of the children,